Hey YouTube, it's Austin from Red Cat RC Tech here. Uh, just going to show you quick little updates of what I have done so far to my wrestler and what I'm planning on doing. Got the Red Cat Racing EPX Volcano wheels on the back, I act like paddles just like my slash. The rear wheels are originally on the wrestler on the front for right now because I have the front wheels for the wrestler on my front of my slash. But I'm going to probably get the um, AKAs, um, I don't remember the name, either that or the bow ties or some type of J concept wheels or pro line. I got front RPM bumper, um, front A arms, rear A arms. Oh, let me get my light. Okay, A arms front and rear. Okay. Okay, let's get the body off. I went to Hobby Town today. I need a new shocks, so I went to Hobby Town and picked up these HPI shocks. Um, they were like 15 bucks, which, you know, really wasn't that bad. Um, I took the little bottom, uh, parts off in it. Okay. Yeah, I took the, uh, bottoms off in them. So I could put the, uh, Traxxas springs on them. Which was nice. I put the, as I said, I put the Traxxas springs. I put a couple spacers in there. They're real nice. Filled them with some good weight. It's really bouncy, though. They're, like, really, really bouncy, which is really not that bad. Obviously, I'm running the XL5 system. I'm going to try to get a uh, cheaper brushless system. I was thinking about upgrading the XL5, actually, to Valenium, but I don't think I'm going to put the Valenium on the Rustler. I think I'm going to put it on my Red Cat racing truck, so I get a four-wheel drive truck, but if not, I'm going to put the Valenium on here. Um, the radio system's off in it. This originally came with a 27 gigahertz radio. I ordered another Fly, uh, Fly Sky GT 3B and 3C receiver, so I can put it on my Fly Sky radio, so I can, so it has uh, 10 model memory, the 7 cell pack, which I'm not going to run because I'm going to have a 2S LiPo, so I'm going to probably test the 2S LiPo on here. Um, my Castle Creation blower that I have for, for my SCT kit, since I don't use it, my Titan motors get really, really warm. So I put it on there for now. Ran the wires up, and it's connected. It, um, if you're gonna plug this in, plug this in either in channel three or four of your receiver, whatever one's free. You know, it hangs off a little bit. Not that big of a deal, but otherwise it works real good. And that's basically it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. See you guys later.